Yes. I got the green light from the producer. So uh, welcome to the 12th annual CARES conference. Can't believe it's already been 12 years since we've been doing this. And we are broadcasting live from the Will's Eye Hospital Auditorium. So those of us who are here in the audience, thank you very much for taking the time out of your Saturday morning to be here with us. And those of us who are logged in on the internet on our streaming service, thank you very much for viewing um, through the interwebs. Um, so as a glaucoma doctor, I get to go to many, many conferences every year, um, locally and nationally. Um, this is my favorite conference. And part of the reason why it's my favorite conference is we get to spend time with you, our patients. And this is you are the reason why we do all of this. So this is the only meeting in this country that is like this. It's a patient-centered meeting. It's directed towards glaucoma patients and those who care for people with glaucoma. And um, I hope that the program that we have uh, curated here for you today is informative and you can walk away with something uh, new uh, that you have learned. So this meeting has always had uh, two parts. You are now in the informational session, which will go from uh, 9 to 12 PM. And at the same time, there is a free glaucoma screening that we do uh, here on the 11th floor that will be going on from 9 to 1 PM. So if there's anybody here in the audience who has not had their eyes checked in the past couple of years and was never told they had glaucoma, I strongly urge you to, right after this informational session, to go upstairs and get your eyes checked. We're very proud of the agenda that we have put together here today. Um, we have some true experts in the field of glaucoma um, that will be speaking to you about various topics. Um, now, each, each talk will be about 15 minutes, and we'll have certainly time for questions and answers. If you can hold on to your questions until the end of the talk, that would be greatly appreciated. So we're going to roll right into the informational session. The title of my talk here is Glaucoma, the Thief of Sight. There he goes. <laughs> so what is glaucoma? So boiled down to its simplest terms, glaucoma is damage to the optic nerve that is often but not always caused by high eye pressures. The optic nerve is basically the cable that connects your eyeball to your brain. So it helps the eye communicate and send information to the brain. It's possible to have a normal eye and a, and a normal brain, but if the connection between the two are damaged, then your vision can be impaired. This is not a picture of Mars. This is a picture of the inside of your eye. And that circle that you see in the middle, let's see if I can get the mouse to work here, is the optic nerve. And uh, basically, it looks round because you're looking at one end of the cable. So um, it, it certainly does look like a cable if, if, uh, if you look at like, a, like an MRI or a brain scan. But the reason why it looks like a circle is because you're looking at a, a cable straight on. Um, the optic nerve can be broken down into different parts. So that is the outline of the whole optic nerve. There's a pale area in the middle. That's called the optic cup. Everybody's got an optic cup, or almost everyone has an optic cup. And that's basically an empty space in part of your optic nerve. Now, the real meat of the optic nerve is called the neuroretinal rim. And that's all that other stuff in between the optic cup and the, uh, and the edge of the optic nerve. And these are the actual wires that connect your eyeball to your brain. And this is where we see the damage of glaucoma. So in glaucoma, worsening optic nerve damage can be seen by a thinning neuroretinal rim. So like I said, that, that those are the actual wires. And over time, when your pressures are too high for you, you can start to lose some of the, the neuroretinal rim. And as a side effect of that, the optic cup starts to grow. So unlike the size of the donut hole through the years, which has been getting smaller and smaller, People with glaucoma, if untreated, can have an enlarging donut hole. So the optic cup starts to grow. So what is glaucoma's impact on vision? Um, glaucoma is nearly imperceptible until severe damage is present. So what does that mean? If you have mild glaucoma, if you have moderate glaucoma, 
oftentimes you can't even tell that it is in your vision. Um, not until it is has almost completely taken over your vision is when you can tell. And oftentimes, unfortunately, that's when patients come in to see us. Um, usually your peripheral or side vision is lost first. And I need to clarify what I mean by peripheral or side vision. It's not the vision off to the side towards your ears. It's actually the side vision that is closer to your nose. And that's a trickier place uh, for, for vision to be lost because, one, you're not really paying attention to that area anyway. Your nose is there blocking that vision anyway. And number two, you have your other eye to compensate for it. So if you started losing your, your nose vision in your right eye, your left eye oftentimes will have normal vision and it'll compensate. So it's, it's hard for you to tell in the beginning whether or not you're truly getting worse. So this is a normal visual field. So this is how a test that, that Dr. Raziginejad will be talking a little bit more in detail on, but this is how we test for your peripheral vision. This is an example of a totally normal one in, in somebody with no glaucoma. Um, you know, unfortunately, many of our patient, patients show up to our clinic like this. Um, they, they did not know they had glaucoma, and then you know, we do their first test, and it looks like this. It's a very unfortunate scenario. So how is it that people have a visual field that looks like this and not know it? How can they have that much damage and not notice it? Now, I, I put up these two pictures up here because these are the uh, sort of infamous pictures now from the National Eye Institute where there are two children here. And, and there, there is, this is the, an artist's representation of what they think glaucoma can look like. And this is an often used image. Um, so people think that this is what glaucoma really looks like. Many of us in the room have glaucoma. And I am willing to bet that your vision is not like this. So this is a, unfortunately a misrepresentation of what glaucoma truly looks like. Part of the reason why patients don't know that they have vision loss beyond uh, the, the other examples I talked about is called something called cortical plasticity. Now in simple terms, basically that means your brain is compensating for missing vision in, um, in your eye. So just coming back to uh, this normal visual field here, you will notice that there are these black dots. So everyone has these black dots. And these, these are called normal blind spots. Um, we all have it. But why aren't we walking around and seeing two black dots floating in the middle of our vision? It's because our brain is erasing these blind spots. So here is a, uh, a demonstration of cortical plasticity. And, we, and if you would like to, you can kind of play along here. If you can cover one eye with, with your palm and focus on that star that is spinning. If you look at that star long enough, you'll find that that gray box on the bottom, on the bottom left, uh, will disappear. I'll give you some, some time to check that out. Yep, so some people are saying they're, they're noticing it as disappearing. That is a demonstration of cortical plasticity. You know, and basically what your brain is doing is it is filling in the area, that, that square, with the surrounding textures, the surrounding colors. And oftentimes, you know, in, uh, when you lose vision in the peripheral area, your brain will kind of cover it up. So it's very, very possible to... Um, have very, very advanced glaucoma and not know it because your brain is sort of compensating. This is an example of what glaucoma truly will look like. So this is, you know, in, in a normal eye, you see two children crossing a street chasing a ball. In somebody with moderate stage glaucoma, it can be like this, where there is no blind spot, but there, there is missing parts to your vision. This is what it might look like in very severe stage glaucoma. It's a little bit more obvious here that something is wrong. And this is generally when people start to come in to get their eyes checked. Scary stuff. Somebody actually did a study. Um, and uh, basically, they asked people with glaucoma, showed them six pictures, and they said, which one of these pictures is most like your vision? 
and almost nobody actually nobody picked the tunnel vision picture nobody had nobody has this most people either saw no changes in their vision they, they saw missing parts in their vision or just blurred parts in their vision so it truly is a thief of sight so glaucoma has for, for a very long time been called the silent thief of sight for this reason in the early stages of glaucoma vision changes are often not recognized and for this reason we think that half the people in this world with glaucoma don't know they have it that's a lot of people walking around that have never had their eyes checked so let's talk about glaucoma in America it's the second leading cause of irreversible blindness here we think about 2% of adults older than 40 years of age have glaucoma pretty prevalent it's a leading cause of irreversible blindness in the world so right now as we speak we think that about 75 million people in the world have glaucoma that's a large number of people and we think it's a growing problem so by 2040 that number will skyrocket to 112 million people and mind you half of these people don't know that they have a disease the risk factors are glaucoma we talked about elevated eye pressures the most commonly talked about risk factor for glaucoma other things is age so the prevalence of glaucoma doubles each decade after 40 if you have a family history of glaucoma <laughs> excuse me or uh, if you're if you're of uh, african-american um, ethnicity then you're at higher risk of getting glaucoma um, I, I would like to point out that the bottom of three here we have no control over we cannot change our age uh, what families we come from and our ethnicity the only thing we can really change is our eye pressures so currently there is no cure for glaucoma and the reason for that is the optic nerve is part of what we call the central nervous system that includes your optic nerve includes your brain includes your spinal cord these three structures when they're damaged don't grow back so sometimes we see people who are wheelchair bound after a bad car accident and they never get to walk again and part of that reason is because they've damaged their central nervous system and their spinal cord same thing for the eye you know you're with, as glaucoma damages your optic nerve that damaged nerves never grow back so the day we find a cure for glaucoma is the day people are walking again standing up from their wheelchairs so that, that would be a big deal and there are many many people working on that right now um, now although there isn't a cure there are great treatments and some of our you know physicians and experts will be talking about some of the latest advancements in this later on today so the treatments include medications lasers and surgery and pressure uh, like we mentioned before is the only modifiable risk factor that we have so all of these treatments are working to lower your eye pressure there are other factors that we think are going on like blood flow to the eye inflammatory issues inside your eye um, and people have looked at different ways to treat glaucoma this is unfortunately you know these research studies have not really shown much promise um, so still eye pressures is the target for, for glaucoma treatment so in, con in conclusion glaucoma is a progressive disease that if you leave untreated can lead to blindness there are little to no symptoms in the early stages and prevention is critical in avoiding glaucoma blindness so once again if you have not had your eyes checked in the past few years and no one's ever told you, you had glaucoma please go to the 11th floor and we will screen your eyes for free today thank you very much